the Arrive Can Procurement, and who actually hired these guys. Welcome to Canada Wide. Like and subscribe, and we're going to go through some video which has been deleted, and the audio is gone, and everything is gone. The only thing left is the transcript, and I got a feeling it was taken down for a reason from the government because it's so idiotic. But let's go through these two guys, and I'll go through and read what's going on there and how they don't answer questions. So it's between Garnett and Jean. We'll do it that way. Mr. Duclos, after eight years, one of the biggest problems we see with this NDP liberal government is that while everything is broken, nobody ever takes responsibility. You're the Minister of Public Service and Procurement of Canada. That means your responsible responsibilities include procurement. I want to ask you again, who is responsible for the decision to hire, use GC strategies and procure them for a Rive Can app? That's the question. Who is responsible? Eve replies, well, I've tried to answer this before, but I was cut off. So now it goes back that I'm trying to answer you, but you're a jerk for cutting me off all the time. I'll turn it to Deputy Minister Reza to provide the answer. Perhaps she'll have more luck. Perhaps she'll have more luck in answering it. So he's already pushing off the responsibility to someone else. Garnett goes back. I want to hear from you, Mr. Minister. You're the minister responsible. I'll give you the time. I want you to answer the question. Well, he's supposedly the big shot that actually does it. Jean replies, no, I'll invite Deputy Minister Reza because she might be more fortunate than I was earlier. So basically they didn't answer it. He goes back, Garnett. No, I would like to hear the minister who's responsible for the procurement tell us who is responsible for the decision to procure the Arrive Can app. I want to hear from the minister, which is him. Well, I can provide information on what Arrive Can did. did. So, so now the, all of a sudden the questions change. I can provide you information. You know when they say get cut off at the top? You know, at the, the very top, it was cut off because they never answered the question. So the question was information on what the Arrive Can app did, and this is where they just go through. The question went, who is responsible for the decision? Not who, who is the one about uh, the Arrive Can information. So Garnett goes on, that's not the question, Minister. Well, obviously, well, you said the, the question was who is responsible for the decision? Your title, if I understand correctly, the Minister of Public Service and Procurement is for the 54 million. It was procured through two person company, no IT work. Okay. We all know that. Can you tell this committee who is responsible for the dishes decision to secure them? Jean goes back. What you have said is inaccurate. You said that 54 million was granted to the particular firm. Okay. So now it's all of a sudden it's deflecting onto some other thing example. So that, that's already the deflection getting away from that question. I wasn't born yesterday. Who's responsible for the decision? Let me continue. Arrive can cuts him off. Who is responsible? So he asks him again. How much time is going on with this? It is associated with 14 different companies. See, that's what they're saying now. So it was 14 companies, not just GS, GS strategy. The first of them who indeed cost 80,000. Oh, isn't that a nice, beautiful number? That just makes you feel warm and fuzzy. So uh, the first company happens to list is 80,000, but you know. No, I don't think the 80,000 is not it. Garnett goes back. Who is responsible for the decision? Eves. Okay. Am I allowed to continue? But you see, allowed to continue with a different question of what the Arrive Can app was for. And this is how they just, just go on and distract. Garnett goes back. Mr. Chair, I'll ask you to bring the witness to order. He is an obligated to answer the question like any other citizen who appears at the committee. The chair, it's a very special question. Can you answer it, please? I have a point of order. Who's this guy? This guy jumps in a point of order. This is where the, you know, the uh, save me, the save me thing comes in at this point. The chair, what's your point, whatever? Mr. Chair, again, just allow the witness to respond to the question. See, it's not resp responding to the question that was asked. He's responding to what he wants to say, which is not it. We're all interested in the response. You see, no, the, res the response was something different. The chair goes back, Mr. Kuluski or whatever. Nice try through the Garnett's already on top of it. I still have the floor. There are two issues. Yes, 
Allow the minister to respond. However, the member has asked a very specific question. I think you're looking for a very specific answer. Well, that's not the whole point. He ordered the time with you. I'll turn it back to the floor. Okay, back and forth. Thank you. I repeat it again. I said it a few times, but I would like to know what you're looking for. Who is responsible for the decision to hire GS strategies? As early as I said earlier, it was CSB. Now it's someone else that was decided to do that. Do you know which person is responsible for that? You should ask the minister of CBSA, Canadian Border Security. He'll be very pleased to come to the committee. So basically, uh, leave me alone. I want to go and uh, not be here. Minister, I've asked similar questions to your officials. For the initial Arrive Can app, you're told to receive proposal from the thing. Can you explain to the committee who is your department made decision to proceed? Who is the approached your department from the CBSA? GS Strategies was selected. Oh, sorry, he says it right there. Now I'll turn to M. D. Reza, Minister, who is on your side to make this decision? Okay, then they go back. You know, this is like, uh, it just goes on and on here forever, and they never answer. Have you, have you made up your decision? And that just goes on with it. So, you know, all of this goes through now of different people. Uh, I think the time check will go up here. Let's just go on when the first question was actually asked here. Here. Okay, expand. Let's expand uh, this. Okay. Is there a timestamp? No, no timestamp. But, you know, I think a couple of minutes here. What did these guys get? $500 an hour. And it just goes back and forth here. So they never really answer. Let's see who is this guy. This uh, Mr. Let me check him. So this is the guy that did the point of order, a liberal in Windsor, right on the border. So I guess that's why he wanted to do the point of order because he wanted to interrupt. And who's the Reza? Well, there you go. I never, I have, I have no idea who this is. I've never seen her in my life here. Okay, Deputy Minister of Public Service and Procurement. Hmm. Okay, I guess that that's the one he was passing it on to. So Eves is the Minister of Public Service and Procurement, and that Reza is the Deputy Minister of Public. So. I don't know. They're both they're both way up there, and they both didn't answer the question. Anyway, hope you liked that. And the video was deleted. That's why I had to go through and and uh, talk out what happened. I'll leave a link where that came from. I don't think they'll get rid of the PDF, but then you never know with the government. Okay, thanks for watching. Best of goodbyes.